39. A big play there for the Eagles on third down. And even 40 yards. Now Foles. Steps away to his left. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. And him running the football is not something that defense has spent a lot of time preparing for. But this guy has a survival instinct and a knack for knowing when exactly to do it. They go play action here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Aaron Donald in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. On play action, they'll throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. Here's Foles. And that is caught. It's Aguilar for the Eagle touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Elliott now to kick this one away. And the D looking like they may blitz. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. Touchdown, L.A. Todd Gurley, 75 yards. And the Rams have tied the game with the extra point to come. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And his kick is right through. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Eagles will take over here in just a second on offense. And Charles, as you look back to the Super Bowl title run that they just had, what were some of the moves that made that possible? I'll keep it on the offensive side of the ball because I thought their front office did a fantastic job of having answers in case things happen. Carson Wentz goes out. Well, they had signed Nick Foles to back him up. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> Getting Alshon Jeffrey as a weapon outside to help them in the passing game. 
backs. Darren Sproles gets hurt at running back. Corey Clement was signed as an undrafted free agent. He filled in well, and they traded for Jay Ajayi. And how about Jason Peters losing the all-world left tackle? And Halapula Vate Vitae, who they drafted the year before, filled in quite capably. They had answers for everything they needed. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground and it brings up third. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield, but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. the play fake. He'll look to throw. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. Robert Quinn in there to get him for a loss of nine and that'll lead to fourth down. Here's Donnie Jones now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away. Seven yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. He got 29 yards that time. When I watched Jared Goff on tape at Cal, I saw a guy who wasn't just a dart thrower. You know, a lot of people said, ah, oh, he's perfect for the West Coast offense. I always thought he could do a little bit more, and that was the reason why. He can push it downfield. He has a good, strong arm. Back live now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going. And they've got it here with a first down. Turns and gives to Gurley. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. Now Goff on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. And on second and ten now. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Flushed out right. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. down it's Gurley and he's gonna take this one in for a Rams touchdown Todd Gurley with his second touchdown here in this first half and the Rams add on to their lead 
And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Ethan Westbrooks able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. Back to throw here. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier, trying to keep him in the rhythm. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Here's a Ajayi. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. So the offense has it first and 10. So the D-line's going to spread out. This is a at the 38. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll look to throw. Airing it out deep for Smith. He rifles one that's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Well, I tell you, Brandon, this...